So first of all, this is not medical advice. We're not medical doctors. So this is purely for entertainment and educational purposes only. Um, if you're going to attempt anything in this video, please consult your physician or pharmacist before attempting it. Before you start reconstituting HCG, it's important to have a clean workspace. When you receive your HCG from the pharmacy, it's best to store it in the fridge. This brand of HCG is called Ganazi. Set two packages aside. These will be returned to the fridge. Then discard that in the bin. You will need the following. The vial of HCG. The ampule of Torbac saline. The 18 gauge needle with the inline filter, a 2.5 or 3 milliliter syringe, a blue 23 gauge needle for injecting into the HCG vial, or you can also use a 25 gauge needle that's orange, or some people see it as yellow, uh, which can be used also in place of the 23 gauge. This will be for inserting the saline into the vial of HCG. It's important that you don't use anything less than 23 gauge as you risk making a hole too large for the rubber stopper of the vial. Carefully open the syringe packaging, making sure not to touch any part of the lure lock syringe. Now open the packaging for the needle filter, being careful not to touch any part of the needle filter. At this point, you will assemble the syringe by twisting the purple filter needle onto the syringe. Grab the tour back. Identify the red dot. This is the point where you'll put your finger on in order to snap open the ampule. Now, you snap in a forward motion, making sure to snap away. Grasp the ampule's neck and place your right thumb, if you're right-handed, onto the red dot, like this. Remember, you'll snap away. And now, snap it open and place the ampule back on the table. Now we'll withdraw two milliliters of the saline solution. To do this, take the cap off your needle filter, insert it into the ampule of Torbac, remove around two milliliters, of bacteriostatic saline, but you should probably remove a little bit more because we will fine tune the, the amount to two milliliters after. So just get a rough measure of what, you, of, of what you need. And then pull back on the plunger and carefully recap the needle filter and place it back in its packaging on the table. You'll now need to choose which needle for injecting saline. You'll use one of the needles, the 23 gauge or the 25 gauge. I choose the 23 gauge, just what I usually have around. Now open it carefully, making sure not to touch any parts of the opening of the needle. Replace the needle filter with a smaller, thinner needle for inserting saline into the HCG vial, and then put back in the packaging for safekeeping. Remove the protective cap from the HCG vial. Lift at the corner and it snaps off. Then wipe the top of the vial with a fresh alcohol swab. Now 
Now you're ready to adjust the amount of saline in the syringe before you add it to the vial with the HCG powder. First you'll remove the cap from the needle, then you'll locate where you want to make the adjustment. For reconstitution, it is recommended that you adjust to two milliliters or the number two on the syringe by pushing up the plunger from the bottom. And then the top, top area of the uh, plunger, uh, the top line is where you would want to make the adjustment to, just like that. Now observe the white powder pellet in the bottom of the Ganazi 2000. This is your HCG and it, and it is quite fragile. So make sure that you do not shake it or move it too rapidly. The liquid will enter the vial and that will then cause the pellet to dissolve. It's important that you locate the center of the uh, rubber stopper. This is where you will insert the needle and you want to use the smaller needle, the 25 gauge needle or the blue one and carefully insert it through the center. Now notice where the needle sits which is next to the powder and it's just go, you, you're just going to slowly drip, drip, drip the saline into the vial. If you go too fast you end up creating more pressure so a slow push on the back of the plunger will allow uh, the liquid to help reconstitute the powder. Now do not remove your needle until this procedure is done. This is a very important part of the procedure because you will need to displace the air. So it's important that you see the needle line is above the water line. The needle is above the water line. This is important because we're going to, at one point, remove the pressure on the plunger with our thumb. Now this is important. Make sure the needle's above the water line and release your thumb from the plunger. You might even pull it back a little bit to assist with removing the air. You do not want to get any saline or ACG into the syringe. And now notice it's fully reconstituted and dissolved and you place it carefully on the table. We're now ready to prepare for the actual injection of HCG done subcutaneously. Locate the insulin syringe, the needle all in one uh, that could either be in an individually sealed packet or it might come in a package of 10. In this particular example, we've got the all-in-one package, which you would open up separately. It's important to wipe the top of the HCG vial each time that you use it. Get your alcohol swab, open it up, wipe the top of the rubber stopper, or it's also called the rubber bung, and then let it dry. Now open carefully your needle and syringe. They're all in one in this particular uh, model. Identify your proper dose. 50 would be the dose for 500, 25 would be the dose for 250 IU. Now you'll remove the orange cap from the needle syringe complex. Now locate the center of the rubber stopper at the top of the vial and carefully insert the insulin all-in-one needle syringe through the center and then pull back on the plunger to withdraw. You may even tip it over to let gravity help help you in extracting your HCG dose. And again, dialed in, pull back until you get the desired dose, depending on your prescription. If you don't get it right, or if you're not getting suction, you can push into the vial and then pull back out until you get the right amount. You should feel a bit of a pull, a bit of a tug, and then get it to the right dose, and then remove the needle from the vial. At this point is where you'll do the injection.
Is that everything we need to do? And then the ending. What's the ending? So, well, we hope you enjoyed this video. We hope you found it instructional and informative on how to con reconstitute HCG. If you like this video, please subscribe and press like and hit that notification bell thingy. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll try one. All right. Okay. Thanks for watching our video on how to reconstitute and inject HCG. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe, press that notification bell for more videos like this. Oh, that's good. Yeah? Yeah. Okay.